Oh, yep, there's my desk. What's going on guys, welcome back to another tutorial. I think I'm gonna make this a common thing where it's like called Tutorial Tuesday, where I make a tutorial every single Tuesday. But without further ado, you clicked on the title, you know what the video's about, let's learn how to replace a sign in Adobe After Effects. It's actually funny, I legitimately love recording After Effects tutorials, it just kinda, I don't know, it's kinda soothing and relaxing. Anyways, I'm gonna show you right off the bat what we're gonna be creating today. As always, the link to the project file will be in the description if you wanna download it and play around. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking this Best Buy sign and changing it to say Best Butt. This is something that I did in my Casey Neistat video, one to just protect me if Best Buy tried to come after the video. And then the second reason I thought it would just be kind of a funny little Easter egg. I actually got a lot of questions on how to change the sign. I actually got a lot, I'll leave a card in the corner if you wanna check it out. I got a lot of questions on how I did the sign replacement. So let's just go ahead and get in the tutorial. So this is what we're gonna be creating. You know, it just says Best Butt, and then obviously before it said Best Buy. Just go ahead and drag the footage from the project file down to this icon, and it'll create a new composition with all the footage attributes of your footage. So you can see we just got a nice vlog shot from the Panasonic GH5, shout out Panasonic. So there are a couple different ways to do this. I'm gonna be going over the easiest way, and it worked out in this situation because the letter T was already in the sign, but I'm gonna also be showing you how to do it if that isn't the case for you. So this shot is just some 2D camera movement. There's no 3D translation. I'm just gonna 3D camera camera track the scene real quick. This is typical of your scenes on some of my tutorials. You can just use point trackers, but 3D camera tracker makes it easier. So just let your computer process and do its thing. So once that's done, it's just gonna create a bunch of points in your scene. So just right click any since it's a tripod pan, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. And then click create solid and camera. So this is gonna create a 3D camera of how your camera moved in real life. And then what you wanna do is turn off this blue solid, click it, and then click up here on layer, solid settings click the eyedropper and then just drop any color. It's nice that this Best Buy sign is one color, it's just nice and clean. So just click that and then it'll change your solid color, I have to turn it back on. So what I'm gonna do is mask over the area that I don't want to be on the sign anymore. In this situation, obviously I'm just trying to get rid of the Y and add a TT to make it Best Butt. If you're trying to get the whole sign to go away, obviously you just have to drag your mask, take up the whole area of the sign, and then customize the font however you want. Before I show you how to add the T, I'm just gonna show you how you would do it if you wanna completely customize. Obviously you would find the font that as closely resembles Best Buy as possible. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna use Bayboss New. It's not really that close, but it's just a tutorial. Colin Ross like that, just go ahead and fit that, and I'm gonna change it to be all black. Boom. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down the transform for the track solid, hit control C after clicking on the text and then hit control V, and then that's just gonna bring that into the same position that uh, your solid already is. And then I'm just gonna scale it down, you know, move it along the X and Z right here. And you just try to best match the perspective, bring it out in Z so it's on top of that other layer. Just best match the perspective of the sign. Obviously, like I said, the font doesn't match perfectly. And then what you also want to do, because you want to match the flatness of the color palette. Since I shot this in Vlog on the Panasonic GH5, it's obviously super flat. So I'm going to drag over some curves and then just bring up the blacks right here. And that's just gonna make it blend into the scene a lot more. And then when you add a color grade on top, it's gonna look more realistic. So just for example, add a new adjustment layer on there. And I'm gonna type in Lumetri color, drag that baby over, go to the basic creation. So I wanna pick my letter choice. I like to use the Newman Fut, <laughs> the Newman Films GH5 LUTs. This was Vlog. And then I'm just gonna use Brownie Man because it's that nice orange and teal look. And that, oh man, that pops really nicely. Oh baby, I forgot how good that looked. And you can see obviously where you want to drag back those blacks because if you don't do that, it's just gonna be so dark. But that blends in more with the scene, looks like it's actual part of the environment. So if you can find a text that's similar to your sign, it's gonna work out really nicely. Anyways, back on how to make this into Best Butt. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. So what you wanna do is just turn this off. I'm gonna duplicate your source footage, right click it, click time, and click freeze frame. It's gonna say 3D camera doesn't work, just turn it off, you don't need it for this layer, you already created your camera. And this is gonna freeze that layer in time and then what you want to do is go up here since you want the letter T you want to mask out the letter T so I'm gonna click here 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 with the pen tool a little bit of there a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit more down a little bit there so once you do that you'll just have a T you can drag around and then obviously the footage underneath is gonna play now but what you want to do turn that into a 3d layer so what I'm gonna do before I start moving this T around is I'm gonna change the anchor point so I'm gonna hit Y on the keyboard and then if you go to this little dot, it should be in the center of your frame. You can drag it up. That makes it so it'll rotate around this point. 
it'll scale around this point and then obviously if you have it over here it's going to scale around that way so i'm just going to keep it in the middle and then i'm going to go into the transform of this track solid i'm going to turn the track solid back on and then drag this on top of the track solid and then i obviously want to reduce this back down to just where the y is covered up because we don't want to have to do that to the whole sign so boom bam bada bop boom pow you want to turn your t into a 3d layer and then what's going to happen is it's going to be kind of like in your solid right here what you want to do is you want to go into the track solid down here into the trans i'm going to close the mask so i'm going to go down to the transform of your track solid hit the position and then hit Control c and then just paste it over onto the T up here, and that's just gonna bring it in 3D space. So it's gonna be in front of your solid that you have over the layer, because obviously you don't want it behind, because then it'll be behind. So I'm just gonna shrink this down and then best fit it to the environment. Since this is just a tripod pan, all you, have, you can move it on any axis and it won't affect how it moves in 3D space. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm actually going to hit M, and then if you hit this button over here on the mask, it's gonna freeze it, so I can't then drag any of the mask properties. Just so when I'm dragging things around, nothing gets messed up. And then I'm gonna scrunch it in a little bit, just so there's a little room. And then I'm gonna duplicate it because butt has two T's. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to this one and squeeze it in a little more, just so it fits. Duplicate it, drag it over, just make sure that you have them evenly spaced out, and then bam, you zoom out, you got yourself the best butt. So then you know, as you preview here, the sign is going to be properly tracked, it's gonna look like it's all good in the hood. And that's it, that's how you take a best buy sign and turn it into a best butt sign. I realize that may not work for every sign, but I hope that provided you some basic instruction on how you can make it work for your shot. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. I respond to all comments and questions, so just go ahead and comment. You know, If you got lost track on any part of the tutorial, I'll try to help you out the best I can. If you wanna make sure to never miss out on another tutorial again, go ahead and hit the notifications on my channel. YouTube isn't great at sending out its videos to its subscribers, but if you hit that notification bell, you'll make sure to never miss another upload. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.